Dream the dream, you know what I mean? What's up? <laughs> Hi guys, today is Tuesday, March 7th, and this is what we're gonna do this week. I'm gonna show you guys some stuff that I bought from Michaels, and yeah. I got some Bristol. I haven't worked on any Bristol since college and that was like 16 years ago so she's smooth I haven't worked on like smooth smooth paper like this in a really long time most of the stuff that I've worked on has texture so I felt like with um, me working with the neo colors and the pastels it would work really well with this so we'll see I might hate it I might love it who knows? I got some double-sided tape. Um, because I felt like I needed it for something. And I don't know why or what it is. But I know I was thinking about it. And when I remember, I'm gonna thank myself. Double-sided tape. I also got some Prismas. You can't go wrong with Prisma, dude. So, these are the colors that I got. I also got a paintbrush. It is simply Simmons uh, number eight filbert brush. So it's a tiny little, oh my God, which way? <laughs> tiny little round flat brush. I'm kind of on this new mission to replace all my brushes because my brushes are falling apart and they are loved on well. So um, I'm just gonna be better about not leaving it sitting in water for a really long time and just love my brushes a little bit better. Also, I got some Mod Podge, Mod Podge. Um, I'm kind of trying to figure out like what kind of sealer varnish thing that I would like for paintings. Um, I've been using this. This is the this is the wrong cap, by the way. This is the wrong cap, but it's the Rustoleum American Accents Two Times Ultra Cover uh, Clear Gloss. Um, seals, protects, and revitalizes. Non-yellowing. So I've been using like sprays like this. I don't know if that's good. I don't know if it's bad. I've never had an issue with it. It's just something that I've been really comfortable using. It dries fast, really hassle-free. Um, but I wanna see how Mod Podge works. I've seen people use this either on polymer clay or I don't know. There's so many uses for this guy. If I hate it for uh, a finisher, then I will definitely use it for something else because you can use it as a glue, whatever. I just don't think that I'm really gonna waste this. I'm gonna find something to do with this guy. So yes, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I don't know what I'm gonna make. I don't know what I'm gonna do, 
but I hope it's enjoyable and um, yeah thanks for watching I'll see you at the end of the video
go, baby. What's up, everybody? Isn't this exciting? This is our first time in the car together. It's so romantic. So today, I need to run errands like crazy, and I decided why not take you guys with me? I ended up buying this like really nifty phone holder situation so that I can uh, record in the car. So here we are making moves, baby. <laughs> yeah, I have to get my medication and I also have to I need to get some groceries. I also uh, am out of some toiletries. So I need to do that. I feel like a real life vlogger, dude. I feel like a vlogger. Like I'm vlogging so hard right now. Vlogging. Last night I could not sleep at all. Like literally couldn't sleep because you guys, after I, I filmed that footage of me um, taking some photos in my lanai, I just, I passed out for like five hours. Have you ever seen that meme where it's like a picture of a kid like knocked out on the couch or something? And the meme says, uh, this is how you sleep when you have no bills to pay. That was me. I was the kid. You know? And I crashed. I crashed so hard. And I woke up at like 7.30. Like a zombie. I didn't even know what day it was. I'm like, it's dark outside. What? And uh, my husband was off yesterday. So we both ended up passing out. And he woke up just an hour before I did. But he's a cutie. Yeah. Thank you. You're so welcome. cute. saying on our little road trip I'm back home by the way um, I could not go to sleep last night so I decided to work with some pastels and just play around doodling. and um, yeah so this is one of them look at her look at her all cozied up is it a scarf is it a blanket I guess this is like sky, ground, I like this, super quick, tree in the middle of magical pink grass or something, I don't know. And then I did like a little portrait. I don't really do portraits often, but I really wanted to do something super colorful. And that's, and that's what I did. So here's the consensus to, is the consensus? 
my thoughts is that right i don't know anyway so here's my thoughts on these guys this along with the other ones that i did i like them i really do like them and i think it's like just it's all the colors for me you know what i mean there's no black outline it's very childlike it's super colorful like the water even though it's not straight up blue water you know it gives the flow of water which i am in love with um so i have this table here and it's just like a really my mom get my mom gave it to me is she nice um <laughs> but i actually put the legs on bed razor things um ideally what i would have is like this room is really kind of longish you know but what i would like to have is like a waist-ish high like a waist high island right here with drawers you know and i can just stand and just work and do whatever i need to do pack things pack orders you know you know you gotta dream the dream you know what i mean i want an island in the middle of my my studio so i can have a center workspace that would be really nice right that'd be nice so anyways i'm gonna go ahead and put these bed risers on the legs of the table um i'm scanning some artwork right now for some project that i'm working on and also i really feel like um i need to start scanning all of my work i ended up buying a uh, hundred gigs of space on uh, Google because I needed more space in my Google Drive. So I kind of want to have backups of everything I make. I think that would be smart. So anyways, that's what I'm doing. I'm scanning everything, bed risers, table. It's very exciting. Check it out. It's a bit of a difference, you know? It helps. You gotta work with what you got. Be smart. Hi guys, I'm in my and I with Mr. Leonardo da Vinci. He's here with me to say goodbye. Thank you for watching another video. And um, yeah, subscribe, comment, like, share with your besties. Right, Leo? Yeah, see, he agrees. Anyways, I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for joining in. Bye!